Hey everyone there, doing my first live video, and uh, so forgive any adjustments to the camera or anything else. Hope you're having a great Friday. And I want to make this video to talk about the benefits of a boxing workout for those of us who have done it a little bit or have not done it at all, or maybe you've tried one boxing session somewhere. I want to talk about some of the main benefits. So first and foremost, it's a full body workout as anyone knows that has done it. Uh, but let's go into what that all entails. Because a lot of people think with boxing that it's just upper body and arms, let's say. But if you do a good boxing workout, a well-designed boxing workout, it's gonna take the whole entire body. Now, if you don't, if you just maybe arm punch a bag like this, it will definitely help with the arms and everything else. Give you a little bit of conditioning but it won't involve a lot of the other muscles in your body and different energy systems as well. So it's important to remember when you do your boxing workout to incorporate some type of bag work, some type of shadow boxing, some type of leg work, also calisthenics and things like that as well, maybe also some weight training and interval training along with it. But even just doing the boxing moves correctly and involving the entire body and mixing in footwork and head movement, things like that, is gonna make it more of a full body workout. So let's talk about some of the muscles that are involved with boxing. Of course, there is there are going to be a lot of shoulder, uh, shoulders, which is great, and arms as well. That's where people who box get really great defined arms. And remember, for people that don't want to be like big bodybuilders, it's not going to make your arms big. That's something that is done through a lot of training and a lot of eating. A lot of times, when people get all so the important thing to remember with that. Then also, it also works your back muscles. It works the core. It works transverse rotational, which means that in this plane where you're twisting again, when you do it right, if you just kind of box like this all the time. And again, with the arm punch, you're not gonna get much of the core involvement. You will a little bit to just keep everything there. But when you work that rotation, you work the obliques, you work the core muscles, you work the bobbing and weaving along with it, that alone, that in and of itself is gonna be a great core workout as well as back workout, upper back with the traps and the rhomboids, the posterior delt, which is uh, the shoulder has three heads on it and the back one is the posterior, and most people don't get that work very much, especially people that do traditional workouts. People that go to the gym a lot, they'll do a lot of like bench press and things like that, but if you do boxing, specifically uh, incorporating shadow boxing, but also bag work with like hooks and things like that, you work the posterior delt a lot, and that's really important for shoulder health. Then also, you get leg work as well, because if you mix some movement on that bag, it teaches you to be light on your feet, works, uh, of course, your calves and also your balance. And, and what's great about it too, with boxing and any type of sports training, but also specifically boxing, is the amount of directional movement you learn, so going laterally, forward and backwards, uh, being able to balance, change directions quickly, which you can do on your own. You don't have to be a competitive boxer to work on that and improve that. But also, you work all the small muscle groups, which are muscle groups that you don't work if you only go to the gym, let's say like a big corporate gym, and stick to things like mach machines. And this is where you can stimulate some of those small muscle groups from uh, free weight training. But if you're doing a lot of like machine work, stuff like that, or like a lot of elliptical type of conditioning to get a little bit more aerobic work, you're not gonna get that, that you, and the same type of muscle recruitment and involvement that you would get with boxing. So. That's the full body aspect of it. Now let's talk about how boxing, unlike a lot of forms of exercise, actually incorporates two energy systems. So there's two main energy systems that we have in our body and it's not as like clean as just like one and two, there's some switch over and crossover, but to basically understand it, there's aerobic and anaerobic. So you have aerobic, which means with oxygen, and you have anaerobic, which means without oxygen. So you can kind of maybe figure out how this kind of plugs into general types of training. So aerobic would be something purely sustained, like think a steady state cardio, like maybe jogging slowly for a long distance, uh, swimming, things like that. Those fall more into the aerobic landscapes. And anaerobic is more things like powerlifting or Olympic weightlifting or sprints, things like football, that delves more into the aerobic, uh, anaerobic side of things, or the things that your muscles need uh, glycogen to produce that force and extreme force and speed and power with. And then there's the oxygen consumption, which is a little bit more of the steady state, the slow, steady things that involve more oxygen. Both involve oxygen, by the way, but 
One is more sustained and slow, another one is more explosive and fast. Boxing combines those two energy systems. Because think about it, you gotta explode on a bag or shadow boxing or in your workout or if you're a fighter in a fight or in a sparring session, but then you also have to move around, recover, and keep yourself moving with the footwork, some head movement, some hand movement, things like that. Also, when you change your speed with your punches, there's times where maybe you just run your hands like this if you're actually fighting to change up the rhythm and then you quickly explode in the middle of that and you have to be able to produce power but also be able to do that sustained over round after round after round so that's where it involves both of these energy systems so unlike things like again if you just do a lot of just like elliptical work things like that or maybe if you only run uh, kind of distance and you don't incorporate things like sprints you get all of that together you get that conditioning uh, the aerobic addition along with the anaerobic, the power, uh, the force production. I've seen a lot of people through just boxing training alone become more explosive, more powerful, and stronger uh, in a lot of ways. And again, because like we talked we'll talk about in the full body aspect of things, forgive me, this little glimmer of the light might be taking away a little bit of the, uh, the word energy there, but, uh, but because of the, the nature of involving all those muscle groups, they develop strength in ways that you don't with a lot of traditional types of training like with barbells and things like that so it's pretty cool with that but then also there's been research done like if you've ever heard of tabata right with uh tabata interval training it was something that was done back in the early 90s by professor tabata who did the first kind of initial uh research on interval training he found that steady state cardio or a pure aerobic training versus the bursts of 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off of high intensity, essentially sprinting, that, that high intensity sprint training over just, uh, I believe it was four minutes, was, or no, it was eight minutes, was actually more effective than I think like 60 minutes of steady state. So this is one of the first studies that really kind of showed the power of high intensity training. And that's what boxing is. That's what boxers have been doing forever. If you look at the old school workouts of boxers when they even do road work, uh, sure, a lot of them will do like long distance, but they'll also do sprints within that. And of course, with the boxing training of itself, that's the very nature of it. Is it's exploding, relaxing, recovering, exploding, relaxing, recovering, moving around a little bit. Again, really great, really powerful. Something that you really only get with boxing. Uh, and then the third thing that I want to talk about with boxing, that with the boxing workout that is so wonderful, is how you're actually truly learning a skill. So it's, it's skill development. And there's a lot of benefits with that because as people get older, all right, because we're all going to get older, right? It's a fact of life. It's important to, to learn things because if you don't learn anything, your brain will become less involved in your life and it will start to atrophy. So the, for instance, the worst thing you can do, for instance, is become an expert in one thing and only know that one thing for the rest of your life and never learn new things. So if you've never really done much of a boxing workout before, or if you've never learned a lot of boxing before, or just expanded your knowledge in it, you're, you might be experiencing a little bit of brain atrophy because you're not learning new skills. And so the amount of brain involvement that happens when you exercise, but also when you learn a new skill in exercise is dramatic. And that's why doing something like boxing is so great because what's cool about boxing, what I always liked about it is that it's an individual sport. So also meaning that you can practice individually. So unlike maybe football or like baseball where you can practice pieces of it uh, by yourself, you can't practice kind of the entire game by yourself. But with boxing, you basically can. With bag work, with active shadow boxing and things like that, you can literally practice everything that you would do uh, alone and by yourself. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. You also don't, don't need any equipment, really. And that's where actually I have a special online boxing workout that a lot of people have really enjoyed a lot that it. What's great about it is that it has six workouts that are heavy bag workouts, it has six workouts that are body weight workouts, and some of the body weight workouts involve shadow boxing, but all the heavy bag workouts, those can be done anywhere. You don't need a bag to do that. You, if you want to get a little bit more like, quote, resistance with it, a little bit more weight with it, you can do it with boxing gloves, because that's about a pound in each hand if you have 16 ounce boxing gloves, or you could use like three pound dumbbells, or maybe max five pound dumbbells, but I wouldn't recommend going much beyond that. But I, let me tell you, if you did, just did it with your hands and you did the moves that I do in that program, you do them explosively, you're gonna get a great benefit from it uh, aerobically, and also speed development, power development, able to contract those muscles in the shortest amount of time possible, because remember, uh, power is the ability to produce force in the shortest amount of time possible. 
And that's what you learn when you shadow box or do any type of boxing move of ex that's explosive is you're building up that power. And that's an important thing to have throughout your everyday life and also just to be a fully physically developed human being. But talking about the skill work, that's where boxing teaches you proprioception because when you do things like shadow box or even bag work, you're having to become aware of your body, having to become aware of where it is, where your hands are and things like that. And you'll notice the difference in someone who has done something highly involved like boxing, their body awareness. They know where their body is, they know where their balance is, they can feel that through that experience and that training. Versus someone who hasn't done a lot of things like that, they, you know, they're all kind of just all over the place. They're a little just full. And they have a lot of troubles kind of picking up new activities. And this is where I argue that learning something as highly involved and uh, as expansive as boxing and as detail-oriented as boxing is, especially when the training is done right, it can really help you learn other facets and or learn other facets of life, learn other things, learn other skills. Again, if you have increased body awareness, proprioception, which that's what the fancy word for that, and uh, balance and coordination, then you know that's gonna that's gonna benefit you with other things. It's like with myself, I credit my uh, in my getting into running over the past few years and doing really, really well. I'm proud to say I ran my first half marathon about a month ago and I ran it in about an hour, oh, I ran it in an hour and 41 minutes. And I'm happy to say that, uh, and I didn't run a lot when I boxed, but that, that condition that I built up from that, and then of course the proper training that I did building up to it, led me to that. Because I have a ability to burst and sprint it out at the end of after running like 12 some miles, or 13, 13 miles, I guess, right, it was 13.1, and I have that ability to explode, and I credit that a lot to my explosive boxing training, and I see that a lot with different athletes that I train, again, many, many Golden Glove champions I've worked with, and professional fighters, uh, they have those abilities to explode, to use their body, and they know their body, and they know that from learning a highly involved skill. So today is Friday, it's, as everyone knows that will watch this or is saying this, it's Black Friday. It's the Black Friday weekend going into Cyber Monday. And so I wanted to mention on this video, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention it, that I'm, gonna, I'm doing this like huge deal on my online Fitbox program where you get this program and you get to keep it for life. So you get to do the workouts as much as you want. And like I mentioned earlier, you can do it if you have a heavy bag or even if you don't. But if you have a heavy bag, that's great, or access to one, you can do these workouts. They're written out, but then also you have the written out PDF file, but then also within that, you have the videos that only you get. And again, you have lifetime access to that that gives you each one of the rounds and what you do in the rounds, how you work the rounds. And, and where this program is a little different than a lot of other like boxing fitness workouts is it's not just like one, two, one, two, one, two, yada, 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 do this. Mm do some squats, things like that. There's actually a structure to it and you're actually doing techniques. You're doing techniques that incorporate angles, footwork, side steps, things like that. So you get all that designed out so you don't have to even think about it because even if you know all those moves, which is great if you do, if you already know all those boxing techniques and concepts, good luck sitting down trying to write out a whole workout for yourself and then sticking to it. But if you already have it laid out for you, then it's a no-brainer, you just do it, and it makes you a little more consistent on it as well. And then there's also body weight workouts as well to balance that out because you wanna become a full balanced person, right? You wanna have some strength training, and your ability to do body weight workouts is an important measure of strength because there's a lot of individuals, I don't know if you've met people like this, that they can maybe do like one specific exercise really well. They can do like a bench press with a lot of weight, uh, but then when it comes to actually manipulating their body and using it and having overall strength, they don't have much of it because they spent too much time in the gym just kind of doing one thing. And this is where boxing is going to give you that conditioning, going to give you that strength, going to give you that power. And programs like the one that I have on our website, KeplerBoxing.com, really help you do that. And again, it gives you that structure and you get the workouts for the rest of your life. So you can cycle through it for a, you know, a few months or a few years even. Do something else for a while and you can always go back to it. And again, if you have the heavy bag, it's great. You can do the heavy bag workouts with that. If you have small dumbbells, you can do it with small dumbbells or gloves or nothing. So it's pretty cool. But I'm doing this huge uh, special offer for from Black Friday on until midnight on Cyber Monday, where if you go to KeplerBoxing.com, if you go to KeplerBoxing.com and if you go to web offers, so let me put this out here. So I know I have it on my shirt, but Kepner, let's see if the glare gets that. A little bit, KeplerBoxing.com, and if you go to web offers on that website, 
and I believe it's the first thing on there. You see, normally I'm selling this for 69 bucks. It's quite a bit, but I'm doing right now with a special code, you get 60% off. 60% off that, so it makes like 27, $26, something like that. Uh, when you use a special, I have to actually include it in the title of the video, it's um, BF, all caps, FIT BOX. So what that stands for is Black Friday uh, FIT BOX. So B-F-F-I-T-B-O-X. So when you go and plug in your information and you're about to buy, there's a place to put that in there. So you get 60% off. So there's really nothing you have to lose. And you get this program that's normally 70 bucks and you get it for like $27, $26. And you get to keep the workouts forever. Six, it's six heavy bag workouts, six body weight workouts. And the six heavy bag workouts, you actually have real boxing technique plugged out for you in every round, full body workout incorporating the legs, the core. There's also some core interval training within that. There's a lot of things that if you want to really get a head start in the 2020 to making this your most fittest and just best year ever, then you really probably need to go and get this offer because I'm only going to do it for a select number of people. If, I, if we start selling too much of them, I'm going to probably cut it in the next couple days. But the deadline for sure where it will be gone will be Monday midnight. This uh, coupon code won't work anymore, the BFF Fit Box. And uh, so it won't be there. We're going to go back to 69 bucks, essentially 70 bucks. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some value from what we talked about, about the benefits of a boxing workout and making something a consistent part of your lifestyle, no matter if you're like a runner or you do some other type of sport, like high school or collegiate sport or recreational sport. There's a lot of people that I train that they play like some type of rec sport and they incorporate boxing training, whether it be at our facility, Kepler Boxing, or on their own through their at-home workouts or things like this. And they, it's, they kill it. They kill it on the field, whether it's like with like a rec soccer or anything like that. Hope you enjoyed this video, like I said. Hope you got some great value. Hope you had a wonderful turkey day and Thanksgiving and all that stuff. And uh, let me see if I can get this live video to turn off.